we established uh, after that we established the faculty senate mm -hmm. which they never had before and were able to get the son uh, one of the sons who's still living of uh, Carl Meniger yeah. to come over and meet with us like once a month because they knew there needed to be some kind of uh, work done with the teachers, you know, about attitudes and so forth. Mm -hmm. I was elected the first president. All right. And what was the, I, I, uh, off camera, we talked a little bit about my mom um, and the fact that, you know, one of her first positions was this teacher trying to teach other teachers how to work with students student populations are not used to. Is that kind of what the function of this faculty senate was? or It was more, uh, it was more uh, attitude mm -hmm. uh, function in that uh, to develop a camaraderie among the faculty. Mm -hmm. and to give them some techniques of how to deal with the, with the students and also to get them comfortable enough to talk about things among themselves right, right. you know to, to build unity mm -hmm. I was I was very active in NEA okay. I, I'm a past president of NEA Topeka and uh, but on the national level, I served as a member of a uh, national committee that spent three or four years working with a, uh, a writer to uh, develop uh, workshop techniques mm -hmm. for uh, inclusion, developing inclusion. There were, there were uh, I guess there were eight or 12 women of us, different ethnicities, and we met during the school year. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and we, would, we would talk about problems and we would talk about uh, techniques and what needed to be done and the writer would, would be there with us and, and she, would, she was the one who would you know, develop the, the tools the tools. And uh, National NEA uh, sponsored that and paid for that. And were those efforts in, in trying to bring it back to present day? Well, how did, how those those kinds of things that I did, and, and also I chaired the Classroom Teachers Commission for any KNEA, mm -hmm. which is in our setup, and, and I don't know if the setup's still the same or not, but in our setup at that time, that was tantamount to uh, a lot of states that had separate schoolroom or classroom teachers mm -hmm. uh, groups. So when I first started traveling to NEA, the, the national meeting and all, first time I went, I had I was the lead person on a whole section of the committee, right. which was a new experience for me, you know. And uh, and before I, the way I got into this this uh, leadership team nationally, before we went, they had a special two to three day meeting for the minority delegates who were coming. We met in uh, King of Prussia, Pennsylvania before the, the regular meeting started. So I had that experience and, you know, and, and I, I used that in the community. I, I eventually became national president of women in community service, served a two-year term, then served a four-year term as national president of Church Women United. Since I have stopped teaching, have not been teaching, I have served on several committees with the State Board of Education that uh, screen materials for mm -hmm. reading and math and so forth for um, different levels of the 
school district and I served for several years on the uh, committee that uh, dealt with graduation right. requirements and that kind of thing till I finally retired and I taught I stopped teaching though when I was 47 okay. mm -hmm. because I got tired of being locked up in the room all day mm -hmm. while the world went by and so where did you, so you spent the rest of your time your teaching career at Topeka I, High? I spent the rest I was 17 years at Topeka High and in the last two years I was two years at Highland Park High School okay. and then I, I decided to ask for a leave of absence because mm -hmm. I was thinking about changing and uh, you could get up to two years. I, th I think that we still, the, the weakest point in the system is that we don't have good, we, we don't screen our candidates as we should. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure we even have the right criteria. All right. Um, it's, it's good and, and so you're supposed to certainly know that whoever's going to teach a certain subject ought to be grounded in that subject. I mean, to me, that's automatic. Right. But the other thing that I think is, is not up to par is that we don't make sure that they have the tools to work with children. Mm -hmm. And in fact, I'll say even further than that, that they have the good tools to work with people. Because if you can't work with parents, you can't work with their children. And, and if you know how to do, when you have a, a conversation with a parent about a child, it doesn't take long to tell if that parent really knows that child. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't take long to tell if that parent is interested in that, in that child's learning. Right. Or if they just want to get along. Like the, the mess we have going on now about all these parents paying to get their kids in these colleges that they can't qualify for on their own. You know, that, that's, that's, that's what's messy mm -hmm. right now. And, and uh, we're not doing that, and, and that's doing a disservice. Uh, I helped start a tutorial school at our church for a while with, three, with two other churches. Um, and with other retired teachers. Mm -hmm. And when we set it up, we made the teachers and the people who were registering and the people who were cooking, we made them go through a training. Right. Before they could even, it was a volunteer thing. That, the training to work and, with and doing people. And during that time, there are three other school districts around Topeka. We had kids from all those districts where parents brought them voluntarily. And we, uh, we uh, notified the school district what we were doing and what our program was. And, and they had, I, I went to the board and made a presentation. And they furnished the materials. We had preschool mm -hmm. through high school. Wow. And, and they furnished materials for the preschool kids, mm -hmm. you know. And the thing is, it, you got to have people who have a passion. Right. And I, with that statement,